Hello, my name is Erin Sanderson, and thank you for joining me to listen to my presentation about knowledge as an improvement over information. So to begin with, what is information? So information can be thought of as puzzle pieces to create a larger picture. Some examples are raw data, documents, spreadsheets, and trivia facts. I personally really like the example of trivia facts because you can buy those books that are just lists of useless information and that's kind of what information is, is it's just the information itself without any context, without any purpose. Information is just those pieces of paper, those post-it notes on your, your chalkboard. So now that we know what information is, we have to ask ourselves, what is knowledge? So if information is the puzzle pieces, then knowledge is the puzzle. Knowledge is what happens when you take those spreadsheets, that raw data, um, your trivia facts, and you gather them together in a way that's comprehensive, that creates understanding and provides context. So if you were getting one of those big books of trivia information, which is my favorite example, um, knowledge would be that moment when the topic comes up in conversation and you get to finally use your random fact about lawnmowers. So now that we've talked about what information is and what knowledge is, we can talk about the relationship between the two terms. Now these two terms get used interchangeably on a regular basis, but as we just discussed, they are not the same thing. Um, information can be used to create understanding and the understanding that it creates is the knowledge. So even though information on, can exist on its own, if you can't form it into knowledge, it's not always very useful. And information is what you need to form knowledge. So you can't have knowledge if you don't have information first. So it can't exist by itself. So now we have to ask ourselves the question, which is better? Is it better to have information or is it better to have knowledge? Take a second to think about it. And the answer is knowledge. But why is knowledge more important than information? Even though information is necessary for the creation of knowledge, when you create knowledge, you're improving upon that information. You're adding context, you're adding understanding, and you're giving it a purpose. When you have information that can't be comprehended, it's meaningless. It can't be used to form knowledge and it's not useful. Information is only an ingredient. So, a good example of this is the pot pie. Although information is a necessary ingredient, such as in a pot pie you have chicken or beans or carrots or corn you don't really want to eat the little bits of carrots by itself the end goal is the pot pie so if information can't be used to form that metaphorical pot pie it's not very useful to you so now i just want to hop over to professor fuller and his lecture that he gave um, you can find it on youtube the link is included in the powerpoint and I just wanted to point out that uh, Professor Fuller made a very important point about accessibility to information. Knowledge is an improvement over information, but um, if you can't access that information, it's not very useful to you. So information means nothing if it's not accessible to people or if it's not able to be understood or comprehended or put into a context. If you can't do those things for the information, then it's useless information. It might as well not even exist because it can't generate knowledge. So how does knowing all of this help you in your professional life? There are three ways that knowing this can help you in your professional life. The first one is that understanding the difference between information and knowledge can prevent miscommunication in the workplace because you're not giving someone information when you mean to give them knowledge and you're not giving them knowledge when you mean to give them information. The second way is that understanding the importance of knowledge can help you choose the correct information to share with your coworkers 
in order to create and spread that knowledge so that you're giving them information that they can turn into knowledge and not information that they can't. And the third way that this can help you is that by understanding that knowledge can only be created from information that can be accessed and understood, it can help you eliminate barriers in society that prevent information from being accessed and understood. So being aware of that is the first step in changing it. Thank you for tuning into my presentation. If you want to access that lecture that I mentioned, it's listed in the citations along with the link, as well as the textbook that I got all of the information about what information is and isn't and what knowledge is and isn't. Thank you.